Hi everyone, this is Super Galactic, and I'd like to welcome y'all to my YouTube channel. And what I want to talk about is wanting real peace and not fake peace that's not genuine. Because as of right now, humanity is getting unimbalanced with all the different beliefs, with all the different religions. You can clearly see that people on this planet are not getting alone because you got Christianity always imposing their beliefs on other people. And, and me being a pagan, I don't like it. I don't like the fact that Christianity is imposing their beliefs on my people. We're the type of people we we let live, we live and let live. We don't go imposing our beliefs on other people. We don't go out here and try to cause harm to other people like Christianity has done. Just look at what Christianity did to the Native Americans and to the Indonesia people. There was a lot of blood spilt because of, of that. And now you got the Jews invading Palestine, spilling blood there. So again, it's just them imposing their beliefs on people like that. And that's not showing respect. That's not showing compassion. That's just basically imposing your beliefs on them and when they refuse to convert, you start spilling blood. You start going mad and killing them. There's nothing about that right. You can't just go mad and go on a killing rampage because they don't want to convert to your religion. There's no love in that, people. There's no love in that whatsoever. And I know a lot of people in these churches want to make excuses and say it's God's way or no way or it's God's way or you can go straight to hell. I mean, that's, that's the exact words of Steve Peters. You either love Jesus or you can go straight to hell. Where's their love in that? There's no love whatsoever. You don't talk like that and alienate people's minds like that. Well, there's people in this world, actually people in this world that do show love, that do show, show compassion, that do respect other people. Believe it or not, there are people in this world that do care about other people and their well-being. Stu Peters does not need to be saying statements like that. Now, there's some stuff that I agree with him on when it pertains to Israel. Yeah, I agree with all that. But he's still imposing his beliefs on other people that may believe different. And he's got to understand that they got the right to believe the way they want to. So if he don't like people imposing their beliefs on him, well, then why in the world would you do it to them, stupid haters? I want to ask you that question. If you don't like pagans imposing their beliefs on you, well, then you shouldn't be doing it to them. It works both ways. And that's what we got to start doing. We got to start showing love, compassion, mutual respect. That's the only way we're going to get this world back in balance. But for right now, this world is unimbalanced because of religious dogma. People's just always imposing their beliefs on others. And that's not how you go about it. People saying, oh, spread the gospel of Jesus Christ through the world. You can't do that when they believe different. You can't do that. And gospel ain't what people think it is. And I wish that the church would open up their eyes and realize that gospel comes from pagans. And the church refused to see that and acknowledge that.
But us pagans, we do. We show respect, mutual respect. We show love. We show compassion. But unlike Christians, they don't. They think you're supposed to convert to their religion. And when you don't, you get threats. You get hatred towards you. And and even years time, they would get killed for not converting to Christianity. They would die by the sword. That's not being loving. That's not being respectful. And the church wants to call it a loving religion. (laughs) No, the heck it ain't either. I mean, just look, just look that stuff up. You got to stop watching the news media because the news media ain't going to tell you the truth. And some of these textbooks are not going to tell you the truth either, especially these Christian textbooks. They're going to spin a lie. They're going to spin a narrative and not give it to you straight. They're going to twist things. And you got to watch out for that. you got to have good discernment and know who's telling the truth and who's just flat out lying to you and mixing truth in with a lie. you got to be able to have enough, enough discernment in your mind and spiritually to tell the difference because people will flat out lie and people will flat out mix truth in with a lie just to span a narrative. You got to watch out for these type of people. There are, there are plenty of them out there. I've seen things where people would mix truth in with a lie on it, and then I've seen some tweets on it where they flat out lie. You take somebody like Ted Cruz. I seen a tweet where somebody was talking about how uh, Ted Cruz was not even acknowledging the fact of how the Native Americans were killed by Christianity. And and not only that, but you you take a look at all the disease that killed the Native Americans, saying, oh, it was an accident. You might want to rethink that, Ted Cruz. You might want to rethink that. But, of course, I know... The lying ass ain't going to do that. He's part of the problem. He knows that ain't true. That wasn't no accident. But, I mean, you just got to be able to tell when somebody's lying and catch them in their lies and be able to catch people mixing truth in with a lie because they're out there. Don't think they're not. They're right there. But we want real peace, not fake peace. We want peace that's genuine. We don't want peace and then subtle destruction. We're tired of all these destructive ways that our government is doing. We're tired of it. We're tired of the Democrat versus Republican. We're tired of the left wing, right wing, because we know it's the same bird. We're tired of all these things. We're fed up with all this nonsense. We want humanity to be balanced, not unbalanced. But if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Leave a comment in the comment section below and tell me what you think. And please hit the bell so you'll be notified whenever I make another video. And y'all please subscribe to my YouTube channel and have a good one.